All right, next question. Seventh, Seventh grade. grade. Challenger Middle. Wait, Challenger Middle School. Middle School, yeah. I was going to yeah. say high school, yeah. Seventh grade, first mm -hmm. day. Yes. Oof. Who else did you meet that day that you're still friends with? Absolutely no one. Okay. All right, just put that out there. <laughs> Continue. Next question. Absolutely not. No. Because you know why? Because you know they tell you when you grow up, the friends you had when you get older. The same. Yeah, they'll. And you know what's so funny? We all are literally still friends. Even yeah. if we're not the tightest friends, yeah. all the friends I've had, yeah. I've known since Challenger. Wow. Uh, next question. Oh. Ooh, I know hers. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's lots, but. Yeah. Um, let's start, oh, let's start. You know where I'm going. Oh, know you, know you know where I'm going. I know, okay. She had oh. this trifling lime green dress. Was it lime green first? Yeah, I got two. Right, but well, what was the first color? It was lime, lime green. green. Okay, so I remember I saw her in this dress yeah. and I was like, damn, I really don't think you should wear this dress. That's what So what did she go do? <laughs> Buy it in another color. And a smaller size. I think and it was large. a smaller size. Yeah. Now mind you, I already told her she looked a mess in the first green dress. So she bought a yellow dress. Was it yeah, yellow? Yeah, it was yellow. Yep. Neon. Neon. Describe the dress for them because they don't know. It barely covered anything. Yes, it crisscrossed. It did lots. And, and then she had the matching finger wave with the pressed curl, with the curl on the side. She had about six. Yeah. My dad. But remember we went to the club? This is the dumbest thing. Remember that guy was like, I was a track star? <laughs> And I look at, I thought it was a compliment. I was like, oh, we think oh my god, this dude was like, yeah, you a track star, you a track star. She was like, oh my god, he thinks I run track. I was like, yeah, the track. Right. I had no <laughs> idea that meant they thought you was a flapper. So yeah, um, <laughs> that was flapper? a flapper. Used to well, I can't say that's what girls, ladies of the night. Mm -hmm. They were flappers. That's what they called them back then. Oh okay. Yes. Um, now your fashion, I, I don't know. Uh uh. See, I don't know. Because you've never had issues like I did with my wardrobe. Let me see. Um, you said you didn't, you didn't like that white sweater. Maybe we went out. Heck yeah. You, see, fun. I don't know. What do, you, do you have one? Because I don't, I don't know. Like a bad yeah. clothing on me? Yeah. Lots. That I've been around? Because um, you and Shana, when we went to the club, y'all was always the flyest. I was one that was looking crazy. My dad wouldn't allow me to come out looking. I didn't have the clothes. I mean, to uh, to us it was cute then, yeah. but and you, and you could change. You wear this, yes, you leave, so yes. I, you yeah, and I have different like clothes. Yes, yeah, so but I, I, I think to us it was cute then. If I was to see myself, yeah, now back then I'm pretty sure I would think it looked a high mess. I see. Yeah, see, I don't know. Back then I thought that was cute, but but what outfit in particular you was like, mm -mm. cause I don't know. I never really had that. I always had my own style. Okay. Yeah. Wow, I had a few of me. That dress was something else, y'all. It barely covered anything. Let me just say that. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. And I had nice, crochets. ladies. Okay. So, next question. Oh, well, recently, you can see. Because you got me hooked on this man's music. Oh, Cycles. Yes. Jonathan McReynolds. Mm -hmm. I listen to it because of you. I've never heard his music until yes. we came from Vegas. And yep. Shane, I was so mad Shane didn't hit that run. You know that beginning of Cycles when John was like, he heal you. Mm -hmm. Shane can hit that she run. Can hit that every run. single note. Yes. And I the cannot can run. Sing her yeah. tail she can sing. So when we came from she Vegas. She was crying. That yeah. was such a, a genuine moment. Yeah, I love that. The one thing I always like to introduce to my friends is God. Yeah, so because of that, I listened to Jonathan McReynolds, but the cycles, I thought he was a female. Yeah. I had no idea he was a man. He hit the notes. Yes, he did hit those notes. Yes, he did. And I still can't do those notes. What would you say my song is? Um, you have so, see that's what I'm saying. I know yours, well, your musical taste is, is very eclectic. Like, we yeah. have... We, I'm, I'm eclectic too. Moments. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's just in that moment, I remember that song, I will listen to it on repeat. Like right now, People is on repeat with Jonathan McReynolds. Mm -hmm. But you introduced me to him. Um, yours, yeah, I guess it depends. Like, remember, Knuck, knuck If You Buck used to be the whole thing. Yeah. Knuck If You Buck, All the, the Cups. 
Yeah, in like the club. Any of yeah. those ready to go down south songs, yeah. those were usually. Oh, yes. Karina was trying to go. That was somewhere in the middle of the circle. Oh, yeah. Wow. When we went to Vegas. Or sea walking. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That used to be my go to thing. Like, yeah, it just depends. I remember they used to just put the hat on me and I used to just hit the middle of the circle and just walk yeah. my little life away. And he was walking too. Yeah. I remember that. Mm. Like I was in gang bang and all I banged was G.O.D. Yeah, and that's crazy too. <laughs> that's real crazy that she can dance like that with any genre of music. Like Sierra. I've never seen Sierra see walk though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't know if she can. Now she's with Russell. He probably she got away. With Jesus. Exactly. Jesus walks. Okay, go ahead. Next question. <laughs> What age? Just say younger. Yeah, I mean, you already know who my crush is. He's still my crush. RL. <laughs> From next. Love that man to death. Yours, I don't know. When you, we were younger? When we were, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I used to be Batman from Immature. Oh, I was like, I, love him. I thought it was the real Batman. I'm like, was wait, Bruce Wayne? Marcus Houston? Was he Batman? Wait, Romeo? Yeah, he was Batman. Batman, who's the other guy? The LDB. RC? Oh, is that an LDB? Little mm -hmm. Drummer Boy? Mm -hmm. That was the same, Little Drummer Boy? Yeah, his name was oh. LDB. LDB, Romeo, and Dang. Batman. And I liked Batman all the way up until high school because I remember one time I went to Desert Sky and he was in the store mm -hmm. and i was so excited until yeah. i turned around and he was missing because he's so short wow so and i was it... so turned off wait wait so it wasn't when they permed their hair that threw me off it was <laughs> when they um, permed their what hair. was it something about some lies what was the song about lies i will never lie again but no no when they permed their hair I had the twisties. Yeah, I like them. I had the thing. Back in those days, when we used to like Sean. Yeah. Sean had the twisties. Yes. That's why I used to be in love with him. Yes, I, I, <laughs> I had love, the little twisties when, like, when they had the little braids and then when they went to the perm. Yes. I didn't like now, that. now you realize they looked the hot mess. Yeah. But back in those days. Yeah, but look what it did in Marcus uh, Houston's hairline. If anyone saw it, he's it receded. It, yeah, I think he sprayed yeah. paint. Uh, he did something. They got him the, the black hairline. Yeah, but I remember once they got that perm. Oh, they were in house party. Remember? Mm-hmm. Like three. They were, house they party were in three? house party. Yes, because they got that stripper uh, yeah. or something. Angina Williams. Or, ooh. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. I remember that. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> we're opposites. I agree. Yep. Yin, yang. What's the other opposite? Um... Uh, I'm the tomato, you're the tomato. Yeah, I'm, I'm, oof. I'm like more outgoing. She's reserved. I see why, man. You, when you go out to places, you gotta just kind of look and like, mm. Yes. Check it. So I'm like, hi, how you doing? And for whatever reason, I draw attention. So Because you're the opposite of what I am. I just say this because I'm the opposite of most people. Yeah. Well, opposite in general. I'm out, yes. yeah. It always works. You tell jokes. Hmm. That's a good one. That's what she do. Your reads are funny. I I mean I was trying to laugh when you was talking to your kids. God know I knew so I, was, I know when I was embarrassed. Why would she come for me like that? Yeah, I know. And I was like, I was stop trying that's what I, was, I don't like for people to come. I just close my eyes and let them think I'm going to sleep again. <laughs> but when she talk her reads and she be serious. Yeah. And then, you know, journey chimed in. I was like, Oh, you about to get next. Treasure was the only one that was quiet. I think Treasure, Treasure was sitting there like quiet. She knew. And that's why I said Treasure's yeah. me and the other two are Kirk and Lorinda. Yeah. Because all I did was watch my older siblings and be like, well, I don't want to get beat on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you just see how she just hit you across yeah. your head? I don't want that. And Treasure just like this. You learn. Yeah. Your reads are funny. And I could tell. I mean, he's, like, he's ready to go. I knew it. Time to go. Remember he photo? Time, like, Time to go. Time to go. Yeah. He thought, okay, Miss Sophia, no! It was no, Miss Sophia. Yeah. No, yeah. Miss Sophia, yes. no! Yeah, I'm telling you, it's time to go. Alright, next question. Okay, three things that that I will say that God is yeah. real. Definitely. Definitely, that's, that's one. Um, we honor our parents. Honor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
we both hold our parents high still now that we're still very respectful yeah. even though yeah. we're that's very true almost 40 years old yeah we still you know mm-hmm. but chris um, four can't whoop me no more right. can't, he can't we know that, me. but we wouldn't yeah, say that quite loud no we wouldn't no yeah no. okay but in our head yeah yeah we know that sorry that. okay um the third one hmm I want to say family. The older I got, the more I realized how important like to be around people who who love you and genuine instead of like these to me. When we were younger, there were so many people in a circle that had no value, like associates. Right. Now when you're older, you don't want to waste your time with people who doesn't like you. Including or, family though sometimes. Yeah, family too. Oh, you are. I no. don't want anything around me that has yeah. negative energy. Yeah. Like energy means a lot. It does. And you want people around you that you can learn from or they can learn from you. And it's just positive, good energy. Nobody wants to be around negativity. The world is already negative. Yes. Nobody want to hear that. Right. I agree. All right. Next question. I would think what drives you crazy is when someone runs their mouth. Disrespect. Yeah, like yes. you're not going to check them on it or they just think I could keep doing this without you retaliating. And when you do retaliate, you're the bad person. Absolutely. And you gave him an advance warning. It's like that dog. Always. You said when his teeth is out, that means he's going to bite you. Now if I keep on petting him, he's going to bite me. Correct. Yeah. That is definitely my top pet peeve. Um, For you... You know, I saw your lack of tolerance recently for the first time. <laughs> oh, I do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I People care. lying on you is what I say you don't really have a tolerance for. Yeah. You don't like to be lied on. Like, you will keep going until you yeah. can figure out yeah. the truth. Yeah. I don't like him either. But, yes. <laughs> She's good. Well, I will say something that meant a lot to me. And, oh. I want to cry, but I mean, gosh. When I buried my mother, mm-hmm. and I look back, because she was, you talked to her when she was alive, and she always told me, I wish she was like Karina, and she met Junior, but when I look back, and I saw you guys, that meant a lot to me, because do you not know Anthony, who lived right around the corner, did not go to her funeral? I didn't know you didn't go. Anthony did not go, and that bothered me. And I said, how come you couldn't go? You met my mom. You met my mom and my dad. He did not go to her funeral at all. He could have walked to her funeral. So when I looked back and I saw you, and I, I saw Victoria, but it meant something to me when I saw you guys there. And then I saw Junior leave immediately. I saw him leave because he couldn't see her. That always stood in my mind. And from that point on, I knew that our friendship was different because... No offense, when my mom died, Victoria, they did reach out to me, but I didn't have a relationship with them mm-hmm. like I had with you. They were there and I thanked them for that. But I think for me, the guy I was dating at the time couldn't even pay his last respects to my mom. And I remember that. So that meant a lot to me. And I told my, me and my dad was talking about that. And yeah, he saw you too. I didn't know he saw you, but yeah, Margaret and the kids saw you. And I was like, that meant a lot. I did. Mm-hmm. Of course, I wouldn't yeah. have allowed you to go through that day by yourself. I think I went to the wake too. Yeah, you were there for the wake too. I remember that. Gosh, I remember that. That was on my birthday. I think the, the what made me most impressed with you to be your friend was I, I, I can tell you just wanted to be loved. And I get a lot yeah. of love from my mother, so I like to love on others. Like that's something that I'm, once I'm, loyal to you that's it like i don't betray trust that's just not who i am as a person i'm yeah. extremely loyal so once i could i knew you needed a friend like me yeah yeah i don't have too many friends i don't i don't think most of us at this age have too many true i don't have friends. any you only true friend like i said out of all the associates you met my mom she liked you my dad he would tell me no, but who did he tell <laughs> yes to? And you, know, and you know, other people tried to say, hey, can Dia come out? Dia? Yeah, no. No, but with you, he would say yes to. It's always been like that. Mm-hmm. He would tell me no, and then Karina calls. And he, oh, she can go Mr. out. Mr. Ford? Yeah, oh, go watch. Yeah, I'll let her know get ready. It's like, he was never like that. That's what I'm saying. So you've always had a, with my parents. No, okay, my sisters. You know, that's yeah. them. But yeah, 
I think they were that was my yeah envious that to me that that's solidified because a true friendship to me when you go through tragedy that's when you find out who your true friends are you're sick remember someone said that mm -hmm. you want to touch your friendship let me can I borrow some money from you or something and then you find out who your friends are was we'll in a crisis yeah and at the lowest point of my life I, t I turned around there for that day and I saw her and her ex there at the time and that meant a lot to me all right last so, question Oh, that's a good one. Strong, independent, and I want to say beautiful. I was going to say smart, but that's four. Yeah, those are probably the top yeah, ones because yeah. you are. You're a strong woman. You're independent because you take care of yourself and your kids, and I've seen that. And I think you're beautiful. And beauty for me is not physical. It's who you are inside. Oh, thanks. So I want to say that you're, you're beautiful inside and out. No matter what happens, you know, as far as weight gain or loss, the heart is what I think is what God judges us on and what others judge us on. They should. Yeah. They should. They should. They don't. Because they're baddies. Yes. Um, yours, you're definitely funny. You always keep me laughing. That's something that we don't lack in our relationship is laughter. Thank you. I think you're definitely beautiful on the inside and on the outside. That's something I've always tried to push for you. <laughs> is to tell you how pretty you <laughs> are. Heart and break. And I think you do have eyebrows. I think you do. You know what you said? Yeah, cool. yeah really? I just said they're not thick. What about edges? You saw them. No. What are you, looking, you look like Journey right now. <laughs> <laughs> but you saw them. I, 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 <laughs> hold on, I can okay. get this out. Hold on. I think you do have edges. Okay. And they're just not a lot. Yeah, but who cares? No your guy, hair is in the middle of your back. Yeah, but if I can't put my hair in a ponytail, I don't care if my hair your is in a ponytail. Your hair is in a ponytail. It's just, uh, when, if you can't pull it, I wouldn't make her pull in your back. Right. So if Fran didn't line. have any edges, if she had hair here and then there's like a whole half an inch of bald, dry land and there's no grass, and she went out with a ponytail. I'm going to plant some seeds. Oh. On that note. <laughs> <laughs> all right guys <laughs> thank you for this best friend tag Corinne, that was... i finally did it yes thank you guys for tuning been in. asking me forever yes and thank you donovan for being a moderator you're welcome bye Be guys nice to my friend yes